Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for You. I saw this really cool video yesterday and of course I have to try what I saw this person do. I will link the video below. I don't off the top of my head remember who did it. It was the first time I've seen her and so I just was so excited. Um, I'm going to do this a little bit differently than she did. She used real plants. Um, I don't have, well, I do have, I have some dried leaves and such, but um, I didn't really want to use that yet until I figured that I was happy with the results. So I thought I was going to try it on my cutouts. And I have some in black, which suits me just fine because I like black. Um, so what she did was she got a leaf, basically. And then she took some tacky glue. I'm just going to put some in there for now because I want to brush it on. So I taking this. I put some water in here in case I don't want to, I don't have a sink here so I can't really clean it. So anyway, so she brushed on the glue and I probably should have used a larger backdrop sheet and you need enough glue that it won't dry on you right away. And this flower, I can already tell you, is more fiddly than the leaf she had. So I'm just going to try it. If it doesn't work, oh well, but I think it's still going to look nice. She used um, different colors for her leaf. Um, I got my embossing powder out, at least the ones that I thought would work. I have, I don't have a lot of different colors, but I thought a few would tell me whether or not this would work all right. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I will grab another piece of paper. Yeah, it's already drying on me, so I'm just going to add some water. Fiddly stuff, I guess. A solid piece would have worked better. Because now the embossing powder will stick to that wetness, which I don't want. Okay, so I'm just going to try got this one it's silver and making sure you're in frame so I'm just gonna lightly go over a couple spots I have silver I have gold and I think she may have done all these separately I'm just gonna try putting them on different spots. Oops. There, okay. Yeah, I don't do this very often, so. Let's see if anything happens. So something happened. Um, it did blister up a little bit, which is nice. Now I could, and I think I will, come back in here with a little more. And 
and I'm just gonna try and pick up a little more powder and then do it again okay I should probably have a dish for the leftover glitter here but of course I don't um, oh no my um, healing cutting mat got too hot Okay, hey, don't do what I did, guys. Don't do this on top of your heating, healing mat. Okay, anyways. I think it'll be fine once it cools. Okay, so what she did then is she matted it. First, she had die cuts on uh, um, paper, which made it look like she sewed around. And then she glued this to there. Um, I don't have any die cuts. What I do have is a ruler. And I was thinking of a pen. And then just gently, or not so gently, I don't know. Outlining. I can't really see because of the way the camera is I don't want my head to be in the way the whole time so hopefully you can see this I'm just going around the edge and making little marks and my pen is kind of awkwardly shaped so I already know I'm not getting the best results here but this is my first attempt, and so you can learn with me how to do this and how not to do this. Probably would have been easier to sew, but as I film this, it's really early in the morning, so what if I try it without a ruler? Since it's already looking handmade, may as well go all the way. And I'm using um, the Walmart brand um, watercolor paper for this because she had some textured paper, which I really like because it's got, you know, the added dimension of the texture. So yeah, so this would make um, really nice cards, I think. And if you had different colors, like she had red, which I thought really set it off because it made it look more like something I would associate with like a Christmas card. And then, oh yes, another thing she did, which I really liked. Now she used stamps, but I thought you could draw So basically, what she did, and she had stamps because she works or she represents or sponsor, is sponsored by a stamp company. And um, I mean, I have some stamps, but the stamps she had were very fine and detailed. But basically, what they were. And I'm not saying I'm any good at this, but. I figured we gotta, 
uh, be able to figure out a way how to do what she's doing, only, you know, we're making this ourselves, so. And I didn't practice any of the things she had on there. I'm just totally, I'm basically going off the shapes that she had. Um, basically a background. So then you could angle this flower, but I'm going to add some more um, of these. You could do different shapes, of course. Well, the idea was hers, as far as I could tell. I haven't seen anybody else do it, so um, this is my spin on it because I'm using what I have. So you put your spin on it and use what you have. And I'm sure that they will all look great. Okay, so I'm just going to keep adding things to the background until I'm happy with how much I have. And I'm kind of just scribbling. So then, I think it probably would look better if I had it like that, but I don't. Okay. I'm going to say something like that. Oh, good. The healing mat is fine now. <laughs> Just have to be more careful. Um, and two, I noticed I should have had something to hold the, the cutout down because it wanted to blow away on me all the time. So, all right. So, let's see. I'm going to use this glue. So I added my Facebook link to the description of my channel. Um, by all means, friend requests me or feel free to follow because I'm going to probably put some updates on there. I haven't decided whether I'm going to put a whole other um, page together yet. Just actually just joined Facebook um, so that I could list some of my albums or some of my journals in some nearby groups. So, but I have my name on there, Grace Blossoms for You, and it's under my name, um, Lonnie Felaner. So, all right, so there's that. I think it probably could use a little more color. Maybe put some more embossing powder on there. But I do like that. I mean, it's a daisy, so obviously it's not going to be really Christmassy. But that's my first attempt. So I'm going to put that over here. Then I had another flower, which is also not Christmassy, but it's more one piece. 
And I believe you've, you've seen me use this one before. Um, let's see. Need another small piece. So the, the cut out papers that I have are two sizes. One is three by four, the other is three and a half inches by four inches. So, uh, that's a big one. I need another small one, like so. And I get my paper back here. And then again, I am gonna water down the glue some so it doesn't dry as fast. I think I'm gonna add some glue. So I'm using tacky glue, high tack. So I showed you this the other day, but all right, so it's, yeah, I'm diluting it just a little so that it doesn't dry on me quite as fast. And I'm gonna do that over here. So how are you doing today? Are you crafting? Are you watching? Are you looking for new ideas? I saw this and I immediately thought if I was going to make Christmas cards and do it this way, then I would have to start like immediately. But I haven't really committed to the idea of Christmas cards just yet. I don't know doesn't I know they take me a long time to do so it's not that I'm procrastinating but probably once I start I'll get into it but then I might not get anything else done going to see if I put more paper underneath here if that will protect my healing mat a little more all right I'm gonna do this and uh, fast forward this so I'll be right back okay that was better I held it down with the end of my brush Plus, I think it's stuck to the paper. Okay, so there's that. I think some other colors would have been good. I'm just gonna do the edges a bit more. really happy with this part. I'm going to see if I can do like a blob of something there. And then just add that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so it worked and it didn't work all at the same time. I probably added too much water to my glue. It's got some spots on it, that's okay. Um, my pen, I'm gonna do the fake sewing again. So what are you working on right now? Are you doing, are you into fall? Are you doing the Halloween stuff? I don't do Halloween on purpose. I don't even do much fall stuff anymore. I just, <laughs> fall for me is one of those, I get into it and then it's hard for me to move on from it, so. I find it's easier just to not. All right, so then I want to see what I need for background here. And I'm glad that these cutouts work because um, I didn't plan the size of the cutouts. I just decided I wanted the, the size for the mat. So then, what else can we do for a backdrop here? I want to switch it up a little. Since we can do whatever we want. You can just doodle on it. So while that didn't do exactly what I wanted to, at least it broke up the center and there is some color in there. So. so I will say that hers looked very professional, like a real artist did them. That's obviously not my look. <laughs> That's okay. You do you. Okay, I just made some dots so that those dots would look less random. There we go. Added a little something else to it. There we go. So, yeah, I'm gonna say that's good. And then I'm gonna use this glue. But yes, I did do these um, cutouts on my Cricut. But I'm thinking you could, if you were just like wanting to do simple shapes, you could easily cut that out out of um, maybe cardstock or something. In fact, I might try one. Yeah, the lady actually put something um, on here to flatten it since she was working with stamps she had a bunch of um, things that she could I don't know what they're called 
things like this. And then she would, hers were bigger, obviously heavier, but yeah, she flattened everything out with that. Okay, then let's see. Like so. And then I'm thinking on the back of a black piece of card stock for the card. I'm thinking like that and then I want to measure I think four by five is my go-to so if I go four Well, it would have to be pretty much eight that way. And this paper is slightly wider than eight, but that should work. And then one, two, three, four, five. So five inches high. So that should give me two. My trimmer is so bad <laughs> it gives me a ripped edge whether I like it or not so then I'd have to cut it down try this one it's on the edge okay so that one and then that one on top of that. It's not bad. I think I need something else in there yet. I almost want to ink it. But not brown. Let me see. I have this strip. Let me try something. I think what I want to do is um, because I'm missing the red in there. I just want to see if that would be enough. Kind of set it off. Before I actually commit. And then I have the darker red. I think I like the darker red. So I think I'm going to, even though this one is called Festive Berries, I thought that would be the nicer color, but I'm liking the aged mahogany. So I'm going to do this. Again, I'm not saying this is a Christmassy thing, but I guess I'm still leaning to that idea. I like it. I think it sets it off a little more. So, all right, then I'm going to commit to this one. Mm, 
I just thought of something else that would be nice. I'll try that next. There, see that doesn't have to be a Christmas card. I don't think that looks totally Christmassy. It's just, it's just a nice card. All occasion. And then if you wanted to write in it, obviously you could put like a white piece of paper or beige, you know, a lighter color and then write on there or use a metallic pen. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, okay, so what I want to try next is, hang on one second. Okay, so if I have my base and I have the top what if I have some cardboard to set it off? I wasn't sure what size to bring, so I thought I'd bring a few pieces over. Something like that. And then I would just cut this piece down. I want to make sure it's even before I do that. Like so. That gives it height. And two, then what I could do Is add a darker brown. Sorry, I realize I'm breaking up my sentences. Some people can talk and craft at the same time and others have a difficult time. So this brown is the, um, oh, what is that again? ground espresso. I like the color. Usually what I end up doing is mixing photo, vintage photo, and the espresso together, and that's kind of my signature shade, I guess, because I use that. That's my pref preferable shade when I ink. Okay, so there's that. And then something like that, that gives it a, like a gradual. And I think what I want though, is a little more of the texture showing here. I'm a little more careful now because the other day I was doing this and I got cardboard up my nail and <laughs> ouch that felt like a paper cut <laughs> um, yeah something like that And two, I keep thinking lace. Isn't that the way I organize my lace? And I couldn't find the one I wanted. So, I don't mind that, but I think it's a little too big. I did coffee dye some. Maybe that will work better. but I want the lace in between these two layers. So I'm gonna 
put this down. sold. I think if I had a lighter piece of lace that was the other color that was a small that was this size. That actually doesn't look bad. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna do that. But for that I need my hot glue. And then I'm just going to line it up from the top of the black to the bottom of the black and right on the edge so that it hangs over. I think that's what I like. All right, in the meantime, to ink it, I guess I would also go with this color. Like so. May as well use this one. I got it out. Here for a sec. Okay. Like that. Whoops, I got a little crooked. Hold on, too late now. Okay, so there we have two. And like I said, so far I used my die cuts. Not die cuts, I don't have die cuts. Cricket cuts. I don't know what you call that. Cutouts. Okay, this one with the cardboard is a lot heavier, just saying. All right, so those two. And then I cut these leaves. I have one more small piece here. That leaf does not really look like a leaf. Okay, you could do leaves. And then you could draw in a stem. Or you could do it directly onto the card or onto the watercolor paper. Why not? The other thing I was just thinking was you could do any other shape as well. And of course, for me, for me, I love butterflies. So I'm gonna try something. So 
I got a whole bunch of butterflies from that site on Facebook. It's a group called Fussy Cut Freebies. And they have probably too many options because you can get lost on there. And it's not altogether easy to find what you're looking for. However, they have butterflies. And when I printed them out, um, they were a little, I don't know if it's my ink or my printer or the way they design them. I mean, it could be any of those things, but I found them a little lighter than I wanted them. So I'm just thinking out loud here, guys. Why not use this technique? Okay, but I need to go back to this page. And yes, I'll probably do both at the same time, but I'm just gonna try and mop up and actually, I'm going to see if this glue works. I mean, it should. It's glue, right? And then what I want to do is just kind of, I don't know, maybe just do the tips or the edges. I got this embossing powder a while ago, but I haven't really played with it. So I guess today was the day. So I'm just putting the glue on the, like an outline, I guess. And then putting it in the leftover. Right, I'm going to do this one at the same time. That should make it just a little more interesting. And then I don't have to throw out the butterflies because they didn't print properly. So. I don't like throwing out stuff that I printed. Did not get enough glue over here. Or maybe there's not enough powder. Okay, let's try that, and I'll be right back. Hmm. Oh yeah, that looks so good. darker background. I do like that even if we put it over here. And of course you realize you could do this with any other shape on any paper um, draw background or not, use it for belly bands, pockets, covers. Wow, so many ideas. I think I will make one more card. 
what I'm thinking. What kind? Probably still black. And two, if you don't have embossing powder, there's other ways to get gold on things. I mean, if you have acrylic paint or metallic markers, you know, be resourceful. Don't feel like you're stuck because you don't have embossing powder. And two, this idea was hers and it was great and I really liked it but in the end I did what came to me and so I ended up with butterflies and cardboard and um, yeah so see what comes to you and to another thing if you join my Facebook um, well on Facebook, you'd be able to paste or post, rather, your examples, your projects. You should be able to post to my wall or send me a message on Messenger with a project, and then I could do that for you if you like. Or you could just message me a private thing with your project and then I would be able to see it. Um, I've also put my email address in my description and it's I think it's on Facebook as well so you could email me your pictures of what you create and so I'm hoping to get a little more interaction going. Yeah, I think these butterflies would have been even prettier if they had been a little darker. But I don't mind this at all. I think it's great. And what if we have them kind of hanging off the edge here? Something like that. Just a little bit. Not so much that they get bent but just enough to make it a little more interesting. And two, you could emboss cardboard. Wow, I'm just getting so many ideas now. Probably have to do that another time. All right, let's go, there we go. My glue stick didn't go down, so it's not, I'm not getting any glue. Hopefully it's still hot enough. And then you could, um, just gonna secure this a little. Maybe. You could put like a, a saying, a ta like a word tag. Um, Let me see if I can find one. Okay, I have this label, word strip. So 
a little big. Let me see. My sister sent this to me and now I'm tearing it up. I hope that's okay. I don't want it there. I don't want it here. Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm just going to leave it with the one. I don't really want to rip up another. And I haven't found one that I want to put there anyway, so... So thank you, sis, for those. They're coming in handy. I'm going to put it in between them because that suggests that they're united to me. They're together. Okay, we're probably over time, so I'm just gonna bring out all the ones we made today. Aren't they pretty? Perfect for happy mail or a gift. I like them. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, give it a try. See what you come up with. God bless and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.